from Brookwood School dropped bags off their school? They used 75 straws in 2 meters, or 78 inches, of tape to build a structure for their egg. Well, we got this letter from Andrew C. of Salem, Oregon, who challenged us to design a container that will stop an egg from breaking when it's dropped from 10 feet. But the catch is, you can only use 15 straws, 10 popsicle sticks, and 1 meter of tape. That's 39 inches. Also, one quarter-sized piece of the egg must be visible. Ready? Okay. Now, let's start. Let's make it so. Yeah, well, it would probably like cushion it more. Yes. It has like air in it and it's kind of soft. <laughs> now you do this on yours. Okay. You fold it over like that. See? Perfect. Right? Mm-hmm. If you do it on your side, we'll be on our way to victory. And then we'll have two straws, and then we'll have to have everything else in popsicle sticks. Mm -hmm. That'll be great, because it will cushion most of it. And if it's not cushioned, it's hard. All right, now, how are we going to get these straws to stick? I got you an idea. All right. What if we go like this? Aha. Uh -huh. All right, put it right where that piece of tape was. Go ahead. All right. There, and then like when, once we have all the well, eggs, gonna... all of them around there, like tape them together. Yeah, so that they're firm. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, forget that idea. Yeah, it's not working out. I think that's good. Three on both sides. Okay, and then... tape it together. We gotta leave the oh, I have piece. a good idea. If we bent these down, it would it would cover this part and it wouldn't be that high. Okay. If we bend it down, but it might cover it. our quarter size piece. Not if we bent these ones down. See, look at that. It's like the Fort Knox. <laughs> <laughs> but we should use tape just yeah, case. Just... Whoa. Ooh. Clumsy. What if we put these on the side, right, and like have. Extra pattern coming up. Yes, yeah! This is our quarter size. And then we have this part that's not covered. Yeah, and so make sure when we drop ours, when we drop it. No, but it, we should uh -oh, cover look. it. All right, now put another one cool, there. Cool, cool. Well, I'll tape it on this side first. Uh-huh. Because then it'll be easier to lift it up and everything. Okay. This is as close as we could get to a, to a couch. <laughs> With straws and popsicle sticks. Okay. There. Are you guys almost done? Yep, yeah, we're almost done. Okay, we have no more tape, no more popsicle sticks. All right, guys, you think we're ready? Yeah, Let's we're ready. go. Okay, you guys go first. All right, okay. we'll go first. <laughs> have fun. Good luck. After you. Thank you. Have fun. Okay. Bye bye. It's Titanic. <laughs> Goodbye, Aggie. <laughs> oh, oh, water. Oh. Okay. Oh, sorry. All right. All right. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's give us a round of applause. <laughs> okay. Did it? Goodbye, egg. Okay. Did it break? Woo! Did it break? Oh! David, high five. Yeah. Did it break? Wait, let's take off the straw and plastic and see. No, there's no cracks. Woo! <laughs> Did it break? By building our structure with straws, we were able to cushion the egg. The straws absorbed the force that was caused when the egg hit the floor. Maybe if Lenice and I had balanced our structure differently so that it dropped the egg upside down, our structure would have worked too. Fanny Dooley loves tennis, but she hates sports. Why do you think that is? If you want to learn about the cool things we do on Zoom, then visit our website at www.pbs.org.